It's uh, it's microwave burgers. What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back. Or if this is your first time watching the channel and you love watching hairy dudes eat usually delicious, but on this occasion not so delicious foods, then you're in the right place. So come join the phone, click on subscribe. You'll probably love it. All right, take it down a notch. Anyway, today I'm doing a long overdue, often requested challenge every single thing from the Feasters range. And if you're not from England, you probably don't know what that is. It's pretty much the lowest of the low microwavable snacks, burgers, subs. Breakfast baps. Look at it, it looks terrible, but people want to see it, so we're gonna do it. So I'll throw up a calorie count on screen right now. And even though I know this is gonna taste terrible, there is one saving grace. Got old reliable over there, the microwave, so it should at least be warm for a change. So without further ado, this is Big Mixed Food, and this is the ultimate Feasters Everything Challenge. Who's gonna? All right, so as we're gonna be microwaving these things as we go, I'm gonna give myself one hour to do this, you will notice that one of the items is missing, that's because it's in the microwave. Just finished cooking. Ah, uh, <laughs> ha! I should probably have cooked a few of these things before starting, so we'll get a few more on the go. Let's do the breakfast back as well. How long does this need? Two minutes. Right, we got the sachet of ketchup. Food on the go, man. Taste test. It's time. What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to another video. And today, we are scraping the bottom of the convenience food barrel. Granted, that sound could get a little bit annoying, but I want to have some hot food for once. You can't blame me. People keep saying get hot plate. Microwave's the next best thing. Ah! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move these somewhere for now. I'll put them on top of the microwave. So we got this uh, delicious looking slice of cheese. Supposed to be convenience food, it couldn't be less convenient. Breakfast bath is done. Put this ketchup on top here. There we go. And while I eat this, I'm gonna do the, uh, I think this is the rib sandwich. 80 seconds. Let's try this breakfast bath. So I was surprised to find that the sausage bap was actually a, a sausage patty, so American style. The breakfast muffin was actually all right. Kind of like an own brand McMuffin. All right, next. Uh, next, we're gonna do the uh, Feaster's rib sandwich. I guess this is their version of the McRib. It looks kind of similar. Barbecue sauce sachet. Ah, this bread's really hot. <laughs> While I eat this, I'm gonna get the uh, deluxe bacon cheeseburger going. There's nothing deluxe about this thing, look at it. <laughs> One minute, 20 seconds. Yeah, I think I realized around this point that it's gonna take some serious dexterity to cook and eat all this food within the hour, but it makes it interesting at least, unlike the food. While I'm assembling this, I'm gonna cook one of these as well. This is the crispy barbecue chicken. That goes in for 60 seconds either side. We'll just call that two minutes. Another premium cheese slice for a premium cheeseburger. It's like a wafer thin craft cheese slice. Yeah, for the record feasters, I realized that you know, overheads and profit margins, probably a pretty big deal for a company that sells food this cheap, but there's never any excuse for cheese slices this thin. This is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be hard just because of the cooking time. The bread has that soggy, but firm on the outside feel. Ooh. Yeah, not even a carb addict like Mrs. Beard would want to eat bread this bad. You what? This one doesn't feel quite so hot. 
which is a good thing. This is fun though. I'm actually enjoying this. Not the food you understand, just the uh, journey of discovery as we try each terrible flavour. <laughs> right, while I'm eating this, I'm about to cook something else. Let's cook the chicken burger. Why not? I guess this is about 90 seconds. 80 seconds. I'm just gonna put it on for 90. I think we're on the crispy southern fried chicken now, which unsurprisingly becomes uncrispy quite quickly. You know, the thing they overlook with this is the whole charm, the whole appeal of fried chicken is it's crispy coating in the microwave that's all lost, so. Yeah, that wasn't particularly pleasant. Yeah, you can say that again. If for any reason you're thinking about going out now and buying some Feaster stuff, I would avoid the chicken and uh, maybe get some oven mitts too. These things are hot. While I eat the chicken burger, I'm gonna cook the premium quarter pounder, I think that is. I think that's debatable. All right, so the chicken burger comes with mayonnaise. Whew. I've got a serious sweat on here. <laughs> you get a lot of mayo with that one at least. I'm gonna let that cool for a few seconds. So this one is the grilled chicken mayo sandwich, which I would say is a bit more acceptable to cook in a microwave. I don't sweat this much when I'm in the gym. Compared to, uh, you know, crispy fried chicken. The chicken mayo wasn't bad though. I think this is the southern fried chicken. Hold on to your hats, we're about to kick it into premium mode here because this is allegedly a quarter pounder. It did taste slightly more like actual meat than the rest. Now I'm not entirely sure this is actually a quarter pounder. It did not look much bigger than the regular burgers, but this is probably the best taste in one so far. I mean, it still, you know, tastes terrible, but by comparison, probably the uh, tastiest of the collection thus far. Oop. Can you cook more than one at a time? I'll put these two uh, slightly posh looking ones in together. I say posh, they just have a zigzag bun. <clears throat> so those things going in the microwave there are the top of the line, <laughs> best in class uh, products that Feasters offers, meaning they're more expensive by like, I don't know, 60p or something but at least they have some flavour to them. Oh, absolutely sweat my knackers off. <laughs> English slang 101, if you're interested, knackers means testicles. <laughs> Look at this one. This is supposed to be the, uh, what is this? Um, flame grilled deluxe pepperoni. What makes it deluxe is that there are three slices of pepperoni in there. <laughs> I'm not sure I can handle the deluxeness of this sauce. It does uh, it does look a little bit herby, like it's got some chunks in there or something. They put some effort in at least. This is the flame grilled burger with crispy onions. I should have left these to the end. These look like the, the marquee items, top of the range. You get a lot here, you, you don't want to overdo it with the crispy onions really. Okay, while well, I eat these two, I'm gonna cook. I don't know what these things are anymore. These look small, so I guess they only need like two minutes. So here we're going with the, uh, I think they call this, they have the audacity to call this a premium pepperoni uh, burger thing or something, which I actually had low expectations for, but it was surprising. You know, I bashed it. I said the pepperoni burger didn't look particularly impressive, but it actually tasted pretty good. Herbiness to the ketchup. They actually, uh, they went above and beyond. So if you're gonna buy anything from Feasters, get the ones with the kind of crisscross uh, buns. Not entirely sure about this crispy onion burger just yet. Yeah, so the crispy onions, 
gave a little bit of texture, which was welcome after eating like 10 of these things, but the flavor was lacking compared to the pepperoni version. You know, you occasionally get a bite and you think, ah, actually, that, that doesn't taste too bad. It's just the six bites in between that taste terrible. Yeah, that's not a, uh, a good flavor to bite ratio. But what do you expect? They're like a, a quid each. Down to the final few items now. This is the double stacker. How long does this one need? Double stacked, but still only one slice of cheese. Come on now, feasters. I don't know where the sauce went for this one. I don't really have any left either. And it's going in cold turkey. Yeah, as if they weren't bad enough. This one, I ran out of sauce somehow. Only one more item to microwave, and that is the hot dog. So just a few items left now. The hot dog is in the microwave. Probably the only thing it's really acceptable to cook in a microwave out of all these uh, items. And the double stacker, which was just twice as bad, not really twice as flavoursome, but um, I suppose that's to be expected. Thinking back over this commentary, I should say that I don't normally complain this much, but that would be a lie. All right, we're down to the final item, which is a hot dog. Very thoughtful of them to give you uh, some mustard, as well as your ketchup, with this. All right, so just the hot dog remaining, which actually wasn't half bad, I've got to admit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time. This is Beard Meets Food, and that was the entire Feasters range challenge. Mm. That was fun. Don't get me wrong, some of the worst food I've ever eaten in my 33 years on planet Earth. But the format was a lot of fun. I had a laugh. So I um, hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully... I'll catch you for the next one this Thursday, 7 p.m. BST, which stands for British Summertime. It's a restaurant challenge, I think. See you there. Beard. Oot. <laughs> There's just a certain point at which convenience is not worth more than flavour. Imagine eating one of those for your lunch, what a waste of calories.